I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. You're watching this video because your quadcopter is giving you the Calib, or no gyro, beta flight arming status prevention flag. And that means it won't arm, and that means you can't fly, and that stinks. But I'm going to tell you how to fix it. And the good news is, the fix is super easy. But then if that doesn't work, you need a new flight controller. Maybe. The first thing I want to tell you before I tell you how to troubleshoot the Calib and the no gyro flags is that this video is one in a series. And in the very first video of this series, I gave you some general information about the Betaflight arming status flags, how to tell which flag you're getting. And I would suggest that you go ahead and watch that very first video. The playlist is linked down in the video description and you can go find the first video there. Now let's talk about these flags. When you plug your quadcopter in, listen to the beeps that it makes. Now I want you to focus on the beeping of the actual beeper, not the beeping of the motors. The ESCs go doo doo doo, doo doo. Forget about that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the other set of beeping that goes beep beep beep. Listen again. That last three set of beeps means that the gyro sensor has calibrated. The gyro is the most essential sensor on your quadcopter. In fact, the quadcopter cannot fly without it. And that may confuse some of you. You may think, what do you mean? I'm flying in acro mode. No, no, you've turned off the accelerometer, but the gyro, suffice it to say, the quadcopter cannot fly without the gyro working. And every time you power up the gyro, the quadcopter calibrates it and for that to happen, the gyro has to be sitting still. You can't calibrate it if it's being jostled and wiggled around. So watch what happens if I jostle and wiggle the quadcopter while I plug it in. You see it hasn't done that last three set of beeps yet, has it? And there it is. So it waited until the quadcopter was stable until it then calibrated the, the gyro. And before, until the gyro calibrates, the quadcopter will refuse to fly. The logic here is that when you plug your quadcopter in, there's going to be a couple seconds, maybe, maybe longer of you walking and handling, set it down. And then that's when the gyro is going to calibrate after you set it down. Now, the good news is that if you are getting the Calib flag, what that means is that the quadcopter is refusing to arm until the gyro calibrates. But what ha what does it mean if even when you set the quadcopter down and it's sitting still, the Calib flag doesn't go away? What it means is that the gyro is too sensitive to environmental vibration. And there's an interesting case where this comes up. If you've ever tried to fly your quadcopter like in a moving vehicle, like if you're on a bus with a bunch of your friends on a tour bus and you're going to fly your tiny whoop, the vibration of the vehicle itself can cause the Calib flag to go off and the quadcopter will just refuse to, to, to arm. Uh, but the number one thing that actually causes this is you go into beta flight and you go to the configuration tab and you decide you're going to play with the new fancy, amazing 32 K sampling mode at the moment that you tick this box and hit save, your gyro suddenly gets a lot noisier. And some flight controllers and some gyros, simply enabling that tick box is enough to prevent the gyro from ever calibrating. So what's the fix? Here's the fix. In the CLI, you can go to the CLI and in older versions of Betaflight, it's called the moron threshold. And it's called the moron threshold because years ago, there was a guy named Time Cop. He invented base flight and he was a little bit of a jerk. He still is, but he was too. <laughs> and he decided that this, if you plug your quadcopter in and then you keep holding it and handling it, you're a moron. And so his th idea was that this is the threshold of whether you're a m too much of a moron to put your quadcopter down after you freaking plug in the battery. In later versions of Betaflight, the name of this has been changed. 
and it's now called gyro calib noise limit. But the function is the same, whether you've got Betaflight 3.3 and it's called Moron Threshold or 3.4 and above and it's called Gyro Calib Noise Limit. To fix this problem, you type set Gyro Calib Noise Limit equals and you raise the number up. So here you can see that the default is 48. So we might take that up to 100 or we might take it up to 150 or we could go as high as 200. That's as high as it'll allow it to go. So your quadcopter won't arm, you've got the calib flag, you raise the gyro calib uh, noise limit or the moron threshold, and it still won't do it. Unfortunately, at this point, you probably just need a new flight controller because the gyro chip can also just get old and worn out and crashed one too many times and just finally get to the point where it won't calibrate no matter what you do. So if raising the moron threshold <laughs> doesn't fix it, you probably need a new flight controller. And that brings us to the no gyro flag. The no gyro flag means that the flight controller doesn't even think you have a gyro. It went to initialize the gyro and the gyro just was, oh, I'm not, sorry, what? I'm not here. And that can happen for a number of reasons, mostly related to physical damage of the board. You, again, you crash the board so many times, eventually it breaks and then you get the no gyro warning. And the fix is, probably to get a new flight controller. And some people say, but this is a brand new flight controller. How could I be getting the no gyro? I don't know. But the bottom line is when you see no gyro, probably your board is dead. If you are good with surface mount soldering, you could reflow the solder joints on the gyro chip. Some people do that by sticking their flight controller in their oven, like literally just your kitchen oven and set it to... I don't know what the temperature is and just, just literally bake it in the oven and try and reflow it. Maybe that works. Maybe it, I think it doesn't work very reliably. The one thing that can cause no gyro that doesn't mean you have a bad board is if you flash the flight controller and when you flash the flight controller, you pick the wrong board type. Hello. Come on. There you go. So for example, maybe you have, it's really common to see this happen with the with the omnibus line, because there's so many, there's omnibus, omnibus F4, omnibus F4 FW, omnibus 4 F SD. Uh, so it's really common to flash like the slightly wrong omnibus firmware and the board kind of works. You can connect to it, but when you connect, it says no gyro. So if you just flashed your flight controller and after you flashed it, you started getting no gyro, chances are you flashed the wrong target. But if that didn't happen and you're seeing no gyro, chances are you need a new flight controller. And that is the no gyro and the Caleb arming status flags. Thank you guys for watching. Happy flying.